Hi everyone, it's Jerry. I'm on leechess.org right now, and I'm going to play a game of Horde Chess. It's a different, uh, it's an interesting chess variant, as you can see here. <laughs> uh, the objective for me, playing the white pieces here, will be to give checkmate, whereas Black's objective is to capture all white pawns. So, let's see. Hmm. I'm going to reinforce my furthest advanced pawn here on b5. This is a 5-2 time control. I have maybe about, uh, I don't know, maybe about 20 games experience playing this variant. Still a lot to learn. Uh, not too long ago they had it where it was uh, the black side who had the pawns. Uh, but uh, now it's uh, switched up a little bit. White side having all the pawns and the move. Uh, beginning the game. So let's see. I think in the, uh, with this chess variant, uh, it's black who has to be a bit more careful in the early stage of the game. Uh, if they're not striking properly, uh, I think they could end up getting squeezed. And that's that's really what I'm looking to do. I'm looking to grab some space and make it uncomfortable for the pieces to get out uh, in a smooth way. So I'm considering right now a6. I think I'll go with a6. I don't want to allow, uh, well, I don't want to allow this pawn to move. I still have a lot to learn with this one. Oftentimes uh, it's a good idea to just sacrifice uh, a minor piece for two pawns just to open some lines. What Black is really trying to do is get to my back rank here uh, somehow with the queen in particular. If you lose the, if the Black, if the Black side loses the queen, there's really not going to be too much hope remaining for Black. Uh, the objective for Black should really be to try and get behind enemy lines, uh, you know, grab these back rank pawns, and then you could uh, grab the, the pawns on the second rank, third rank, etc. Uh, so let's grab some space here. This is difficult now. This bishop can't get out. I think this is going to be necessary, grabbing on a6. Uh, feel free in the comment section to uh, uh, share your opinion with who you think is the the preferred side? Who would you rather play, the side with the pawns or the pieces? Um, I don't know just yet. I don't have a definitive answer to that question, but uh, no, I don't want to do that. I'd be dropping this pawn. So that's a bit uncomfortable. Let's get this pawn going. Oh, another thing to reference is that these pawns on the second rank, on their first move, they can move two one or two squares and so too can these pawns on the back rank that was a a recent rule change uh, but uh the first and second rank pawns can move one or two squares forward on their first move so that's important to note and i think i want to take towards the center and uh, that way i give this pawn uh some room i could advance like this uh, this could be a bit difficult for me because this rook already has a direct sight of these pawns. Like, if black somehow gets a rook here, you know, forms a battery with, let's say, a rook on h7 and the queen somehow behind, there's quite often just going to be a sacrifice on this square just so the queen could enter the white position. If you could envision a queen here and no pawn here, the queen will be able to get f1 and then e1 and just mop up all of these pawns so let's let's take back here it's a 5-2 time control so it will not be long before we're living off of the increment let me play i want to defend this pawn here i'm not sure which one to go with a3 or c3 um i'd really like to get this pawn up to d6 that would really squeeze black Okay. Um, oh, I think that's a mistake. I'm going to take towards the center. Hmm, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. I think I want to take like this, actually. I don't want to give this square up so easily, let's say, for the queen. So I'm going to do this so that I can move this pawn up. And then I want to move these guys up a little bit so I can move two squares with these guys in the back. Um, I'm anticipating... 
And black is going to have to do some kind of crazy move like that, yeah. I didn't really see a way that black could, just like they did over here on a6, give up a minor piece for two pawns. I didn't see how they would they were able to do it over here on the, with the kingside minor pieces, so I should probably just take. Bishop or rook? Rook. Okay. Uh, let's go with this. Is there, should I go here? I don't know. Let's get this guy going. Move in the center. This must be a bit awkward. I mean, this bishop can't even move now. Okay. I think black is close to getting squeezed. I don't know. Hang on. I was going to do this. But what about this move? That could be a bit of a bug. Maybe I should do this first. Yeah, I don't want to allow this pawn to exchange himself off or even be in a position to exchange himself off. So let's do this move first. Now, I think this is the first case where I can move one of my second rank pawns two squares. I don't see a reason to do that right away, though. Maybe now I do this. Actually, this move first. Let's get this guy contributing. Mm. No. Let's do this move. No. <laughs> Make up your mind. I think if this bishop takes, pawn takes, and then queen takes here, and she's very, very active. One minute three. So let's see how this will finish. <laughs> There's still a ways to go. This could be, I've played quite uh, some interesting games with this variant. It's uh, I'm finding it a little bit on the addicting side. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I'd really like to get my pawn up to d6, because then he's completely crunched. Uh, so, this is my big plan. I find it much easier for the white side to play in the early stage of the game, the side with the pawns. Uh, but if black is able to manage a piece behind here, then that's when you really have to be very, very careful playing the side with the pawns. Because... Uh, all your piece, all your pawns become vulnerable. They start to be unprotected, uh, and you have to weigh which ones are good to give away, and which which ones are expendable, and which ones are more important. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, that's actually a pretty good move, isn't it? Yeah. So takes. I guess it was necessary at some point, huh? So if I take here. Bishop takes, pawn takes, the queen has her pick. Well, I think I gotta do it anyhow. So let's do this. And yeah, I gotta get rid of him. So I'm definitely gonna do this move now. I don't wanna allow my f6 pawn to be taken so easily. So now with just a light square bishop around, I definitely wanna take care of my light square. You see already there's this idea. Looking to smash through here, rook takes this. I gotta be careful about my clock. So I'm considering this move. I should do that move. Let's do it. Yeah, I don't want to allow the sacrifice on h3, and then the queen gets deep into my position. So I'm going to try and form a giant wall. My big plan <laughs> is to play e4 and then d5. If black is not careful with these next few moves, I think it could be big, big trouble. These pawns get promote, by the way. <laughs> Uh, so, you can envision a group of three pawns here, or just a pawn duo on the seventh rank. They are a big, big problem, or could be a big, big problem. Hmm. was not expecting that. I'm going to take towards the center. Yeah. I want to keep a group of three pawns here. That way it's a bit more difficult for the rook to maybe somehow sacrifice and have the queen enter. Um, I could do this. The queen can't go anywhere. Let's do, let's do this first. Yeah, I think, I think black is in some big, big trouble. Now let's get this pawn up. Just to reinforce my furthest advanced pawn. Where's the queen going? Let's, let's stop that. Uh, let's go here. And then I could go here. Okay, I am slowly inching my way up. This is going to be a big problem here for black. Yeah, let's get all these guys up. I'm going to reinforce this where there's half-open files, just so there's no 
crazy sacrifice, so I'm inching my way up. Let's give a check. And actually, I'm going to go here, so I could go here next. What are they doing? Let's do this. Ten seconds. Okay, I'm soon to have a pawn here. This is going to be too much. I even have tempo moves with pawn push, check stuff. Hmm. All right, and the queen is actually cut off. She can't even return. 11 seconds. Oh, I could have played here with the fork. <gasps> I missed that. Let's do this first. So now it's a, it's going to be a queen versus everything. <laughs> okay, the queen, the last piece. All right. Let's see. Oh, it didn't take that pawn. Definitely should have taken that pawn. Now that I don't see how black how black is win this one. It's just too much. Too much to deal with. Too many pawns. Let's do this. Queen there's no way the queen could enter my position. Let's just babysit that pawn. Thirteen seconds. Push, push, and then that's gonna be game over. Yeah. Black wasn't successful. I'll try to uh play a game. Where I'm playing with the pieces, try to offer some insight into this very new variant of chess, but I think here next, and you just can't stop this pawn from promoting. That should be game over. Okay, that's actually mate. Promotion and checkmate. All right, um, feel free to leave any feedback with this. I know it's a first video of its kind on this channel, but... uh yeah, let me know what you think. Who would you rather be? The side with just the pawns or the pieces? And uh, I'll try again for uh, next time to play with the pieces and see how I manage with that. Okay, that's all for now. Uh, again, feel free to leave any comments in the comment section below, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye.